Hi, Jeremy. Happy birthday. Hope you're enjoying your party. Hope you thank Tova 40,000 times for indulging this whim the way she indulges everything else. Um, truth be told, I'm sad. We're sad that we're not there to celebrate with you, aka make fun of you in person. But since we're not there, I figured Tova had a great idea of harnessing technology uh, so that we could all be there with you in spirit. And so, as a present for your 40th birthday, even though I can't empathize with being that old, I can only imagine what it's like, um, I thought I'd actually say something not sarcastic and mean for one time in our friendship, and we'll see how that goes. I don't know. It might not work. Let's see. So, I was thinking about you and thinking about the um, famous mission on Perke Avot, Im Eina Nili Mili. And I'll tell you why each piece of that phrase reminds me of you. I'm going to tie it into a particular thing from the, let's say, early stages of our friendship. Um, okay. So if I'm not for myself, who will be for me? So I'll tell you the truth. That reminds me very much of what we like to call the summer of our discontent. Um... Because I think even from the ripe young age of 20, you had a real sense of im ena nili mili. If I'm not for myself, it will be for me. If I stay in my little box of Colts Neck, which I understand for my own little box of Matawan, New Jersey, how am I going to make it in the world? How am I going to be an Eved Hashem in the world? How am I going to fulfill my potential in this world? So you got out there, and whether it was spending a summer with friends and for you, uh, one of the special things about friends is that friends really, really are like family. And I don't know who's sitting around the table tonight at the party, but I would not be surprised if it was a mix of friends that are both new and old. And I think that you're one of the people who, uh, one of the only people I know who has so many friends from so many years ago because you really value your friendships and you cherish them like they're family. Um, but more than that, I think it's understanding that true friendships and proper friendships and good friendships are not only something you can give to and nurture, but also something that is positive for the Li aspect of our life, for the me aspect of our life, in terms of how they help us grow and change and develop as people. And then the Mishnah goes on. Um, but if I'm only for myself, what am I? And of course, that I think is a testament to your very, very unselfish personality. See, I'm getting sappy there. Are you crying? Are you crying? I know you're crying. Um, uns the very unselfish, giving part of your nature. So I was thinking about how you took me out driving on the back roads of Colt's Neck. And part of that, okay aside from the crazy crush that we all know you had on me, um, really stems from this feeling that's part of your essence, which is there's something here that's not good and I can make it better. And whether it's my driving at 17, because I don't know, I still remember you yelling at me that I was passing people on the highway the wrong way over the Driscoll Bridge, or whether it's taking charge of the shul, or at work, or wherever, you see something that you feel like you can make it better, and you say, this is not just about me, it's about the community. How can I help? How can I make it better? And that's a real testament to the giving nature of your personality. And again, whether you do it in a car, or whether it's the more mature version of you today, eh, mature version of you today, with charts and spreadsheets and plaid pants, that you use to show off that personality. Um, it's not just about you, it's about making the world a better place. And of course, the last part of that is um, and if not now, when? And part of the way that that's explained is, is um, you know, I have to take charge, I have to take action. And that really reminded me so much of almost your insatiable curiosity which, okay, anyone sitting there knows all about your unending, unending sports knowledge, knowledge of trivia, random facts, all those things, which are really 
you know, part of who you are in terms of just this real desire to know. But in terms of our friendship, of course, I recall the infamous mac and cheese packet incident where you just had so much curiosity about the world around you that you almost couldn't help be curious about what that exactly was. And we'll just leave that like that. Um, and so you take these things together and that really makes such a special person who over the course of more than 20 years of friendship, even though it seems impossible to believe that it's been so long, has been a real fixture for me and Carl and our children and we love being part of your lives as well. Um, and God willing, though our families are proximally far away, um, when you guys buy your second home in Israel um, and we spend more time together, that'll be lovely. But even for now, uh, even though we're far away, we feel super, super close to you guys, you know, to you, Tova and the kids. And that's it. We love you. Happy birthday. Okay, that's as sappy as it gets. Talk to you soon. Enjoy your party. Drink some good wine for me. Later. Bye.